Welcome back to part two of Recreating Your OCs. Today we'll be rizzing up your alpha bad boy characters. Our first dude is getting a mini makeover in Gacha Club before we take him over to Procreate for editing. I want to remove details that can be redrawn in Gacha Club because it gives some more personality. So half of that face is getting wiped off. Next, we're editing that outfit and adding a poofy color to the coat and a flat gray tee. I want to adjust the eye shape so it's prepared for later editing as well. I removed the tail because I'll be importing a custom one I drew earlier onto this wolf dude later on. After one seizure's worth of reposing, he's ready to be tossed into Procreate. Even though the rest sketch doesn't look overly promising, it takes better shape later on. Next is just cleaning up those eyes and bringing in some pupils, which I deleted and decided to save for later. After cleaning up the scars, I finished with some nice color adjustments before editing in the colors to the eyes to really give it that nice pop. With the eyes looking bright and bold, I add some pigment under them with his lightning bolt pupils. Then I gave him a soft smile next. My favorite part is when I get to add in the blush and some husky eyebrows for good measure. I really wanted those eyebrows to have more depth than just the usual line to give his face some more personality. I've decided to go with the wolf cut for the hairstyle because I've never tried that before. So after sketching it out on the side of the canvas, I then sketch it out over the character and begin to line everything together. I want to make sure this hairstyle flows correctly behind and in front of his shoulders while still looking natural. After lining it up, I apply my base color and begin to edit the hair together with the model. Merging the hair to the model is difficult because there's a lot of overlapping parts that have to be redrawn or edited away. After that, I add a gradient into the hair, and even though it looks pixely, I enjoy it more than just the base color alone. We bring in highlights for the hair, and with little left to do, we add in our smaller details, like earrings, the scars on his face. Initially, I wanted to do some on his neck and knees too, but they just didn't work out right, so I kept them on his face like the original design. After outlining the earrings, I add a stylish belt to give the outfit more character, since it lacked in heavy editing. I think this was the right move to tie the blue together into the outfit more. I really love this blue guy's design. It's giving sort of a futuristic cyber cop, and I want to respect that and work with that design. I make small adjustments to his model a little bit before we bring it into Procreate. I decided I want to go with a bat theme because I haven't given up the vampire stuff yet from last video. So I leave some wings next to him. After removing all the gray parts, I decided the bat wings are going to be attached to his headphones, which I then clean up. Initially, I wanted to do a bat iris, but I decided to go with just the thin diamond ones, and I think it was the right call. Eventually, I do put the bat motif on his arm before cleaning up the eyes. His eyes are really where I dive into the color palette and decide how vibrant of colors I'm going to be working with on this model. I add a gradient to the highlight and some details to his clothing. After I remove the skin, that sounded creepy, and add it to another layer, I adjust all the blues and blacks on his outfit and hair to give them more vibrance because with how dark they were, it was hard to work with. With some pretty yellow highlights in his eyes, we then move on to one of my favorite parts, which is more bat motifs. We're adding little bat wings to his shoes, and my absolute favorite part is the bat slicer that connects to his hand. This thing took a long time, and as a custom prop, even though it wasn't my favorite, I still think it was pretty good for like a one hour edit. I wanted to keep it techy like the rest of the model which meant adding cyber-looking elements to it and a sharp shape language. There was a lot of additional editing within the bat slicer before adding the cyber circuit patterns in it. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, and it was pretty easy to merge down and slide on over to the other hand. To complement those, I decided to go with some see-through shades and gave them the same cyber pattern as the wings. Next, I wanted him to have a bunch of straps around his chest that would connect through his shirt and across his jacket. On the back, these would help him hold his bat slicers. To be frank, I was trying to edit only male characters for this video, but halfway through editing this, I realized this was a female character because it told me in the description. So we're going with that. I actually swerved far away from the initial design, but I'm not too upset with it. I guess this is a de-edification of this girl. I can't help it with pink haired girls. We went with a skirt and crop top instead of dark wear, which is okay. After editing the model, I separate the ears so that I can edit them back in and procreate. Then we give her a cute bushy tail. 
Next, the black color scheme on her shirt is replaced with white and turquoise. Her ears are recolored and applied back in, and the blush is removed to prepare for the editing. After removing her skin off, I know that sounds scary again, I readjust the colors on her model and start working on the hair. I decided to go for a more open eye concept, so after removing the lower lash, I expand the pupils and eye whites, and properly line in the eyes. Now we give that pop of color and highlights! I added back in the blush and started working on the shirt. My initial concept for the shirt was completely changed, as I decided to just go with an off-the-shoulder crop top, which meant recoloring the bottom portion of the shirt as well as the entire neckline, which I do later in this recording. I merge the upper shirt and the skirt together to create a dress, and add sweater lines to the sleeves and torso. Next, we're adding our details to the eyes such as creases, highlights, and cute eyelashes. At this point, in the editing process, I wasn't quite sure what to add until I realized her patterns looked surprisingly springy. So I decided to throw in a bunch of smaller flowers into her hair. And, as I built off of the spring theme, I added vines on the leg, which is overused, yes, but it looked cute, so I'm keeping it. I realign the glasses and carry out that leafy green color scheme, and honestly, I'm happy with how this one turned out, despite it being a total 180. After outlining the earrings, I added it. I added it. Really? After sketching it out on the side of the canvas, I then st Oh, this is so hard. With some pretty yellow highlights in his eyes, and then more on. Woo! Model, which meant adding cyber elements. Ugh. Which meant add. Oh, frick. Help him hold his bat slicers. Oh my gosh. Words. Ah. Thanks so much to all my patrons. I'll catch you all in one of these videos.